Okay, I'm going to show you my composition I came up with today in BDMX. I'm running uh, seven layers right now, or sorry, five layers right now, six. Um, basically, I have a background layer, a shape layer, shape layer, shape layer, shape layer, uh, overlay. This is going to be my mask layer. Uh, this is what I usually have for logos, and this is just a color palette picker that I use for the lighting in the club. So on the background layer, which is the one that's selected right now on my APC40, uh, if I choose a different, let's see if I can get this in, in shot here. If I choose a different uh, clip, it does this nice slow auto fade into this. And I like these like sort of background not too distracting uh, videos and you can put a little mirror on it and it gives it a nice symmetrical look. Um, basically this is what the layer uh, is with effects and this is what my main output is and then these are just what the uh, each layer has before any effects. So bringing up layer 2 now is this guy. This sort of tunnel thing here and it's on subtract on its blend mode so you get this nice sort of takes away um, from the background layer Let's see if I can get on this one it's a little bit easier there we go and then on my third layer which I'm bringing up now I have this other zooming thing and that's on an overlay so it chops up the video even more now. This is what it looks like. There's no effects on, on these guys. I can add effects if I want. but So that's what the main output starts to look like. Now if I bring up number layer 4 here, which is this square infinite zoom thing, this one is on exclusion, so it's whenever it sees colors it does the sort of opposite um, with exclusion. And you get this really complex looking thing going on right now. You can change the background layer, which will really help pop up some of the uh, layers underneath it. So, this is the, what the background layer is. Add that on. Add our little infinite zoom guy. Bring in that guy a little bit. And then on my fourth layer, fifth layer, I have this. Um, this sort of spiral thing with a little mirror on it. It's all about that symmetrical. So you start getting this really crazy looking thing going on. And then on my seventh layer here, I have this mask. And what it does is it actually takes... Uh, this is the mask layer, but you can't see it. Um, it takes... It takes this layer here, takes the, all these layers combined, which is what you're seeing right now, and then applies the shape to it, and then I have a, some effects thrown on it there. And for some reason, VDMX doesn't like to show with the shape applied in the preview, but if you look at the main output when I bring this up, you can see it sort of really start to go. So right now there's a invert effect on there, so if I turn that guy off, where are we here? Now it's just the same thing that's on there already, but uh, just blurred out and flipped horizontally and vertically. So if you throw the color invert on there, it just really starts to pop out. You get this really nice... Fair, I could stare at that for hours. Let me change that shape. Change this guy. Yeah, there we go. Change our background layer. Bring these guys down a little bit in intensity. And you get this really complex uh, look. Anyways, I've been messing around, just figured I'd share it out. Let me know what you think.